up everybody it's king wolf welcome to today's video now if you saw the game clips before this man you will see that this blitz is just ferocious now it's not the greatest blitz but it's a dependable blitz and i will run to it every now and then and blend it in with some of the other blitzes that i use in the game before we get into it man drop a like on the video let's try to get this one to 500 subscribe to my channel if you haven't and it's important that you do because i have other content that's at a pro level already Money plays, money pass plays, run plays, blitzes, defensive lockdown schemes, bro. I got that on my channel already. There's more to come. I have other blitzes that I'm going to show you guys that are going to improve your game dramatically. Now, this play right here is going to be out of the Baltimore Ravens playbook. Nickel 335. Also, send me your best videos to the email in the description, man. Put together that, that little top 10 plays of madden 18 so make sure you send that to me the email is in the description make sure the quality of the video is all right man you know what i mean don't send me nothing that you recorded with an android phone from the walmart clearance aisle you know what i'm saying don't do that nickel 335 and the name of the play is the loop crash 2 now you see this blitz you just skip it you know what i'm saying you see it you just skip it because you want to run tampa 2 instead but i'm going to show you guys a way that i set it up and it's just good man it's good loop crash two and let's go ahead now what i do typically is i will run it opposite of the block running back because it's easy to set up once you get it in you know in your memory and it's you just float through it really fast so i could set it up opposite of where the running back is and i do that all the time let's go ahead and find a pass play that doesn't have a block running back because what i tend to see most is people will not block their running backs until they need to and that's true in my case as well i will not block my running back unless i need to if you start sending heat i'm like man this guy's getting to me then i will block my running back but for the most part i'm going to show you both variations without a blocked running back and with a blocked running back so you guys can see just how awesome this blitz is now it is a five-man blitz but trust me it's an awesome five-man blitz just trust me you're gonna get one of three animations on this blitz the first animation is going to be hilton which is our defensive back to the left okay He's gonna come in free, or we're gonna have a looping linebacker, which is this guy, Watt. Or we're gonna get Hayward right here on the line where he's gonna come off the edge instantly. It just, it's dependent. Once you start sending the heat from the left side and the QB starts moving to the right, then Hayward's gonna get that free, that free uh, uh, takeoff off the line. It's weird how it works, man, but you're gonna see if you haven't seen, cause I got a bunch of game clips with this blitz already. So you probably already seen it before the video. Now let's talk about the setup, bro. What we wanna do is baseline and press. Now you don't really have to press. All you really need to do is bring Hilton down. For those that are scared that they don't wanna get beat over the top by a press, what I will do, if I'm gonna press, I will move my safeties over so I don't get so I don't get hit on those, uh, those uh, straight streaks where they like to lead past them to the right on the corner. I won't get beat by those just by doing that and you know maybe spotlighting or doing something different. But if they don't beat me one time, I will never make that adjustment until they start beating me like that. You know what I'm saying? But once we base the line and press, what we're going to do is pinch the D line by pressing left on a D pad, left stick down, and then we're gonna slant inside by pressing left on a D pad, right stick down. After we do that, we're going to QB contain the line just like that. Last, we're gonna take Watt. Like I said, this is already memory to me. I'm gonna move him in between these two guys. Now it's a five-man blitz. All I have to worry about is the left side of the field. My man should have the right side of the field. Anything up the middle. We're gonna snap the ball and see what animation we get. We get free release right off the edge, man. And it's a very good blitz, I'm telling you guys. So let's set it up again slowly for everybody. We're gonna base a line, then press. Pinch the D-line, slant inside, QB contain, and then move my man over here. And that's the setup, man. It's very simple very simple and easy to do like i said you're gonna get one of two animations there's the looping blitz right there that's the animation for the looping blitz let's run it again because like i said it's different animations all the time but you're gonna get one all the time baseline press pinch slant aside qb contain and then move this guy over here probably a little bit closer back about well, right there man that, that looks right right there and then we're just gonna worry about the left side of the field and you're gonna see a free release from that guy right there to the left now let's try different formation Okay, so we're gonna try a different formation out of the 335 loop crash two. We did uh what do we do? I don't know what we did first. I'm, I'm not even paying. Let's do trio offset and we'll do another uh non-block running back and then we'll get into the block running back. So base align, press, pinch, slant aside, QB contain, 
pull this guy over here. Now, there will be instances, man. There will be instances that you can actually put your D-line, uh, your, your A guy into coverage. I don't know if it'll work. It doesn't work all the time, but it works sometime, man. You may get away with it if you want to do that. Put my man into coverage, and you see this guy comes through free. Now let's try to put my man on the D-line in the coverage and see if it comes through. Baseline press, pinch, slant side, QB contain. Move this guy over here and then put A, which is Hayward, on a zone. And now I can really play the left side here. And let's see if they pick it up or if he still comes through off the line. So you guys see that it could be a poor man as well. Now let's try it against a blocked running back. Now for blocked running backs, you're not going to be able to put your D-lineman into coverage. There's no way, no how. We could try it and see if it works but I doubt it. So let's go ahead and find trio offset and let's find a blocked running back if they got one. I think all they got is the play action in this set right here. Okay, let's find another one. We, we'll find another one. We'll just have to flip the play. Let's do the trips wide weak. And we'll do the stick play. Opposite running, it's got a blocked running back and let's just go through the motions. Base align, press, pinch, slant aside, QB contain, and then come over here with this guy. Snap the ball, and with a blocked running back, it's weird because it doesn't matter. He still comes in free. All right, let's baseline, press, pinch, slant side, QB contain, move Watt over here, and let's see. I switch sides with this guy because the play could develop on this side. And the looping linebacker still comes in. Now, there will be times the block running back, you won't get that animation. You will actually get the one off the defensive end, or you will get the one off the defensive back that's on the left of the screen. So, loop crash two, let's go ahead and try to find a different one. Let's do bunch. Let's do bunch. A lot of people want to run bunch. We'll flip the play. There's gotta, there's, they got to have a block running back in this one. Right there, the trail. We can do the trail, and let's see what happens here. Base align, press, pinch, slant aside, QB contain. Just like that and see what happens bro let's see if it, we still get yeah we get see we get a free release off the edge like i said it's going to be one of two different animations for this blitz now if the guy saw that guy come through you're probably going to want to id the mic on that guy so let's id the mic and see if he still comes in baseline press pinch slant side qb contain just like that and let's see what happens what do we get now we get the looping linebacker he was coming in free bro all right, so let's go ahead and do it one more time. Baseline, press, pinch, slant side, QB contain. Move my mans over here. Let's see what animation we get. And we actually get the free release off the edge, but he tripped over his foot or something. Let's try one more formation, bro. One more formation. Uh, nickel three, three, five, loop crash two, and then we'll find, here we, where are we at here? We are at tray open. We'll just block a running back because I don't think there is a block running back. Let's do wide corner and block the running back. And let's see what animation we get against this offense right here. Baseline press, pinch, slant side, QB contain. I know I'm going fast, man, but I'll put it in the description what you guys need to do. And let's see, we get a free release off the edge, bro. All right, one, run it one more time. Baseline press, pinch, slant side, QB contain. Move my man over here and see what animation we get on this blitz right here. And we get the looping linebacker on this play right there. So there it is, man. Hope you guys liked the video. Subscribe to my channel, man. Drop a like on the video, and I'll check you guys out on the next one.